So the other day I did a Hunger Games simulator of every incarnation of the Doctor, which um, an unexpected Doctor won. Actually you guys really enjoyed it and a lot of you wanted a companion version, so I thought why not, let's make another one. So I know these are only the New Who companions, but what I'm going to be doing is another one of the classic Who companions. Maybe I'll take the top 12 of each or something and then put them all in another one to find out the ultimate out of both of them. If you want updates on what I'll be doing with these simulations, um, I do kind of talk about it in my Discord if you want to join that. The link is in the description. And it's also good if you want to throw some suggestions at me. So this is technically round one out of three. I'll just, uh, I'll just run down the districts here. Uh, in district one, we have Rose and Jackie Tyler. In District 2, we have Mickey Smith and Martha Jones. District 3, we have Donna Noble and Wilfred Mott. District 4, we have Amy Pond and Rory Williams. District 5, we have Lady Christina from Planet of the Dead and Brian Williams, Rory's dad. In District 6, we have Clara Oswald and Danny Pink. District 7, we have Captain Jack Harkness and River Song. That's going to be a, a, a good district. District 8, we have Bill Potts and Nardole. District 9, we have Graham and Ryan. District 10, we have Yaz and Sarah Jane Smith. District 11, we have Strax and Adam. And District 12, we have Madame Vastra and Jenny Flint. So there's a, f a few districts in there that I think have a very good chance. Obviously Captain Jack and River Song and Vastra and Jenny are going to be very good contenders for this. In terms of who I want to win, I, uh, you all know Clara is my favourite companion so part of me wants her to win. She did win a test simulation the other day so she probably won't win this one. Captain Jack, Mickey and Martha are probably the other three. I maybe want to win. I think an underdog is probably Wolf because, you know, he, he's he's been in a war, so we don't really know what he's capable of. He, he may not have fired a, fired a shot in that war, but he was still there. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Obviously, with the Doctor's Hunger Games, that went in a direction I didn't, don't think anyone expected. So who knows what's going to happen here? I mean, we might even have like Brian Williams end up winning and killing like everyone else, you know, or Nardole might just go on an absolute war path. I mean, just look at him. You, you don't know what he's capable of. So I think uh, without further ado, let's see who the ultimate New Who companion is. Um, so a lot of people just running away from the cornucopia. Um, Lady Christina straight up killing Rory. That's really annoying. Um, you know, I was rooting for Rory. You know, it was a, uh, but I, I guess can't can't help that. Rory's already out. But you know, Rory is known for dying, so he he might come back, but probably not. Knowing knowing this, um, yeah, everyone else just running away. Um, oh. Phew. Jeez, that's a bad day for the Williams family. Jackie, Tyler and Bill Potts working together to drown Brian Williams. Jeez, that's that's really cold, that one. That is, uh, it's really cold. Once again, yeah, just everyone running away. Yeah, just getting some throwing knives. Jenny getting a sword. Obviously, we know she's, she's good with swords, so that will help her. That's it for the start. Jenny just trying to sleep through the whole day. Um, Donna getting an explosive. Uh, Martha and Mickey, who are obviously in the same district, they're helping each other out there something so captain jack if he dies what, what really what happens there because obviously he he's immortal so i'm i'm not quite sure what's going to happen there uh, nardo scaring river song off that's interesting I, I, I wonder how he managed that strax injures himself that's very much in character i, I wonder how he managed to do that maybe he, he fell over and uh, just i don't know i don't know how how that happens jackie tyler questioning her sanity can't really blame her Wow, okay, so Bill Bill could have got a second kill here, but she refused to kill Adam, which is um, quite surprising, knowing that Adam isn't exactly the um, greatest person. And wow, Ryan running away from Graham, even though they're in the same district, and obviously they're related. So I guess we're more looking at a Series 11 Ryan here, who, do who doesn't like Graham. So, might be interesting to see what happens if, if they make it towards the end. Who's going to kill who? After day one, that's just two deaths. Both the, the Williams. Quite surprising, really. Can't say I expected Rory to go out that, that soon. As we all know, he's uh, Al Alpha Chad, Rory. So, on the first night, we've got Adam and Jackie huddling together. That's uh, that's interesting. Uh, most of Wow! Oh, wow! That That is big! That is big. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh. So Sarah Jane, Lady Christina, Captain Jack and Nardo all form a suicide pack and just just take themselves out. That's big. 
I mean, if this was real life, maybe Captain Jack would have been tricking them to get those three out and then he just comes back to life, but he can't come back to life in this. So yeah, that's, that's a big moment there. Yaz questioning her sanity. A lot of, a lot of people questioning their sanity here. Mick and Clara making a truce. Oh wow, and River Song as well dying. Trying to escape the arena. Wow, so River and Captain Jack both going out in the same round. I believe that wipes out our first entire district. Let's see, uh, a lot of hunting. Ryan camouflaging himself in the bushes. Probably, probably not doing that very well. Someone will probably come along and find him. Clara discovers a river. Let's hope it's not the body of River if you know what I mean. Jenny camouflaging herself in the bushes, probably doing a much better job. Now Adam and Bill are working together, which is interesting because obviously she could have killed him earlier. So I wonder if he's gonna stab her in the back. A lot of lot of temporary alliances. Oh great, and now another one of my favorites is out. Martha has died of an infection. Not really the way you'd want to go out. Once again, not many people killing each other, much like the, the doctor's one. Jackie thinking about home. Well, to be honest, uh, I'm not sure I'd rather live in a council estate in London over being in the Hunger Games. So yeah, that's that was a, a big round. Some some favourites going out there. So yeah, that's that's District Five and District Seven now completely out. And yeah, Sarah Jane and Martha also gone. So I I think we could have an unexpected winner by the end of this. It 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 doesn't understand who these people are, they're just names and it's randomly generated, so anything goes really. Let's see what happens on night two. Um, not too much going on, people just getting on with it. Um, oh, wow, wow, oh no. Okay, so Bill has killed Rose with a sickle and Strax has stabbed Clara in the back with a trident. So that's my favorite now out, annoyingly. As I said, she won the test, so that means there was no way she was going to win this one. Just getting stabbed in the back and... Yeah, whoa! Jeez, Adam really showing his, his brutality here. Repeatedly stabbing Donna to death. Yikes. So Adam now questioning his sanity. You know, well, after stabbing someone to death, I'm, I'm surprised he's not already insane. Oh, and Strax getting another... Another big set of kills here. He's taken out four people at once. Mickey, Jenny, Jackie and Bill. All in one. Wow. Oh, that's annoying. So now I believe all my favourites are now out because Mickey was... He was the last one there, ho hoping he could get it. But nope, he is dead now. Strax is going on an absolute warpath here. I think he might be a favourite now. Oh, great. You've got to be kidding me. A hurricane again? We had a hurricane last time. Oh, so now Amy has been sucked into the hurricane and Adam as well. Wilf is sucked into the hurricane. Graham is killed by debris. Strax survives. Danny and Madame Vastra also sucked into the hurricane. So much like the Doctor's one, this one has basically taken out the entire field again. In my test simulation, it went for six days. There was no arena event. But of course, the moment I film it, there's an arena event at the same time as last time's and it does the exact same damage and just kills basically everyone. The, the last three are Ryan, Yaz and Strax. Not the last three you'd ever expect. Obviously Strax is a huge favourite here, he's got an amazing five kills. That's the same as everyone else on the entire map combined. So I, I think Strax could win it unless something crazy happens, but I, I guess we'll find out. So n nothing happens on night three, everyone just getting on with it and I expect knowing how this works on dawn of day four that's probably going to be it so let's find out so it's the feast where it's stocked up with more stuff Yaz and Strax getting into a fight over some meat but Yaz gives up and runs away and Ryan bleeds out due to untreated injuries so that just leaves Yaz and Strax so the moment I hit proceed here we're gonna find out who wins I want you to say in the comments now whether you think Yaz or Strax is going to win. And you can't edit it afterwards. You can't ninja edit. Right, so predict now and we're going to find out. Alright, have you written it? Okay, let, let's find out. Strax kills Yaz while she's resting. So Strax somehow manages to win and become the ultimate New Who companion. Despite not even being a true companion, he's just a tertiary side companion. With a bloodthirsty six kills he 
just completely decimated the field, much like the Hurricane did. So it's annoying again that I got a Hurricane, because there's no way to turn the Hurricane off, because arena events are randomly generated, so we got a Hurricane again. I'm very surprised at that leaderboard, you know, some big hitters out very early, meaning they won't be in the the ultimate showdown. If, if we're picking 10 or 12 people from this, we'll only be getting a couple of true actual companions, the, the most are just side companions. But but yeah, so that that does it for the New Who Companion Showdown. We'll see a couple of these people will come back for part three, but the next one will be a classic Who Companions one, which will be a bigger, bigger one because there's a lot more. And then after that, I might do some different ones, maybe the Masters versus the Doctor or Villains or something. And I'll see you for the Classic Who Companion Showdown. Thanks for watching.